so uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, Verilog compiler uh, from Synopsys using the uh, system uh, or CentOS system I just installed with uh, Synopsys uh, VCS so uh, si using Synopsys VCS you can compile and simulate your Verilog code for verification so we're waiting right now for uh, CentOS to boot up okay now that CentOS is booting up let's just um, enter a password then you go to applications systems terminal here in the terminal we will launch the LMLI2 this is how we name the uh, the uh, script file that uh, turns on the licensing manager for Synopsys after running that mm, the uh, license manager should be already working now we then move on and start downloading the let's start downloading the Verilog uh, sample code that we wish to run but first let me turn on the internet connection now that's on let's search here let's search here uh, those keywords and this site comes up just make sure you download this zip file after downloading that you can open it from the uh, download section I already downloaded my own here and here in the Verilog folder actually let's close these previous folders and let's uh, browse the up down here we actually only have this raw folder let's just deal with this and inside it are a lot of files we only need these two files updown.v and updowntb.v so let's move up a little bit and right click here and open this file raw in terminal you remember we already in our first terminal we already enabled the licensing manager now we can now use uh, Verilog tools so if you click ls those two files are listed you just need to copy these two files and say VCS and paste them and say here debug all and the uh, VCS will start compiling them as you can see the compilation will take some time a lot of reasons uh, number one we're running on a virtual machine Number two, um, perhaps your machine isn't really that very fast, and those are good enough reasons. And next, here we run the simulation using the GUI. Just wait for a bit, and the GUI will open. It will load the uh, project because all the associated project files have been uh, created during the compilation so here uh, we have the uh, simulator open we then uh, click all of this select all of these variables and add to waves and click new wave view here let's maximize this and let's go simulator and start and continue as you can see the simulation stopped at this point because our source code here in the uh, test bench actually contains a finish directive after after this uh, after this count so uh, the simulation stops at this point here you just then have to click the uh, wave fit or zooms full and then you can see the entire simulation run here so what we want to do is uh, we with uh, 
would be preferable to just change the the radix for count into decimal and as you can see here after the count reaches 15 it goes back to 0 and climbs again to 15 and so on and so on so forth so this is how the system works this is showing you that uh, you can do Verilog projects using Synopsys in your own computer you just have to download this virtual machine which I'll be making available in the future thank you for watching have a great day